Hey dolls! So it's me, Ms. Black Heart Guru, and I'm here with a very exciting haul for you guys today. This is my very first MAC haul, and I am so excited because, boy, let me tell you, I have finally met my match in makeup. Um, from ELF to NYX to Urban Decay, Revlon, Rimmel, I finally was like, you know what? It's time I march my butt down to my local Macy's and meet this Mac. So, um, I met an amazing saleswoman as well. Her name is Krista, and she took her time with me testing out products on my face until I was happy and I bought some things. So, um, I have my Mac products on my new vanity in this cute little, um, organizer that I got at Target. So, I will get right into it. And stay tuned, because after this is my vanity and makeup collection. So, I picked up some MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And you guys, Miss Black Heart Guru is NC30. I am super excited about that, because I love watching other people's hauls. So, when girls are talking about their colors, I'm NC25, I'm NC, I was like, what color am I? So, I was glad to figure it out. And I love the sleekness of the plain black finish of MAC. I'm really into that. So this is NC30. And she was really right on the money with this one. It really matches my skin tone quite well. Like you can't even tell where I rubbed it. Do you see it? No? I don't. Um, there's also a sponge applicator underneath there, but I don't use that one. So there's getting a makeup wipe. There's NC30. A lot of people also asked about my face routine. I um, I exfoliate with St. Ives Apricot Scrub in the shower. I get out and put some Clean and Clear, um, Dual Moisturizer, and Primer, and then the Studio Fix. So I picked up three quads from MAC. Um, some items were purchased in the MAC store and other items were purchased at the cosmetic store. The Studio Fix um, Powder Plus Foundation was about $27, dollars This one, this quad is called Parlor Smoke. It was purchased at Macy's for $38. I have one quad from the cosmetics company that cost me $25.95, so that's an amazing difference and I like it going up there. So this is Parlor Smoke. So it's Parlor Smoke Cross Cultural Indigo Noir and Steel. And I will swatch them for you. So there's Cross Cultural, a beautiful, beautiful deep brown. Um, Parlor Smoke, a nice gray, a dark gray called Steel. And Indigo Noir, an amazing deep, deep blue. Nice. And I'm digging these colors. I'm just going to keep wiping my hands in between. You know, you can never really get lighting right because when I step back, I look too bright. So, I hope this comes out good. And I gotta rush because I keep making this video past 15 minutes. And even though I verified my number with YouTube, uploading from my phone is becoming a so, the next quad that I picked up from Macy's was Angel Flame. And there is that one. So, we have um, Angel Flame is this cute shimmery. I don't know if you can tell because um, I'm having trouble swatching this one. So, Angel Flame, Chamomile, Feather Pink, and Gravel. And Gravel is an almost black color. Deep, deep, beautiful dark gray. Feather pink, the cutest little pink I ever did see. Um, chamomile is gonna be an amazing, amazing highlight color when I start doing eye looks again, cause uh, as you can see, my situation is back. And I'm gonna try hard to swatch it. This is Angel Flame, goldish. Um, I don't know how other to describe that, like a shimmery. I don't know if it's iridescent. But it has this nice shimmer to it that I really can't pick up even in the brightest of lights but I can see it and it's really cute um, so that's Angel Flame and the quad that I picked up at the cosmetics company is called Cutie I'm super excited about it 
Um, my favorite colors are like yellow, pink, and purple. So when I saw this quad with different purples and pink, I was with it. So here is Cutie. And there is, I didn't make up these names by the way. So there's Moshi Moshi with an exclamation point because uh, of course, right? Um, Goody Goody Gumdrop. I have Boy Crazy, a nice lilac purple, and Azuki Bean, a darker purple, and I will swatch them for you. So, goody goody gumdrop, that pretty pretty pink. Um, moshi moshi, beautiful, beautiful. Before I started like really getting into it, it looked almost cotton candy ish that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boy Crazy and Azuki Bean. Again, cute, cute, cute colors. It looks like I didn't <laughs> wash my pinky well with that last dark swatch. You can see some of the dark color underneath. Let me make sure I get it this time. So, those were the three quads that I picked up at MAC and at the cosmetic company. And the cosmetic company I found in the outlets that are um, in Maine. I am from Massachusetts, so I had to take the drive up there. I was so um, I was shopping for Coach, and I got a couple of bags over like Valentine's Day and things like that. So when I saw like a makeup outlet, I was like, oh. <laughs> I got the next thing I'm going to show you. I got two lip glasses. This one is from the cosmetics company, and the color is Curvaceous. Uh, hello. The second I saw the name, Curvaceous, I was in there like swimwear. And it's this beautiful rosy pink lip gloss. And I will swatch it for you. So there is Curvaceous. It's a more dusty pink, like almost with some, when I put it next to the next one, you'll see almost with the leaning towards the nude side. Because when I show you the next one, my boyfriend was all, ma. They're kind of the same. And I was like, no, you're not. You're a boy. Shut up. You don't know. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. He's totally awesome. at like always telling me, go for it. So this is cultured. But he was totally like trying to sound like he knew what he was talking about. I was like, I'm going to get it. So this one was at Macy's. Um, Curvaceous was at Cosmetics Company for like 10 or $11. And this is um, cultured. And this is a more pink Pink. I'll put it right next to um, Curvaceous so you can see the difference. See, there's a difference. This one is more like, this is, they're coming off the same. Shut up, boyfriend, if you're seeing this. So this is a more baby pink color. This one's leading to a like dusty rose nudie color. And I like them. And I like them both. <laughs> Ah, oh, girls, huh? Alright, so that's Curvaceous and Cultured. Those were the lip glasses I picked up. And the last part of my MAC haul is going to be lipsticks. I went a little overboard on the lipsticks. I don't want to really say nothing. But, um, I got six. Um, I got two of one so I can have a backup. But I'll show you all the ones that I got. All of the products, all of the lip sticks that I purchased from MAC are Viva Glam lipsticks. 100% of the proceeds go to AIDS awareness. And not it's not like I'm only going to buy Viva Glam lipsticks, but I was wicked excited that my first couple of purchases went to such a great cause. So I got Viva Glam 1. <clears throat> and this is such an amazing matte red color. So... Max lipsticks are black and silver. Viva Glams have this beautiful red casing. And this is a beautiful night on the town. Um, stilettos on impress the boyfriend red lipsticks. Lipsticks. <laughs> Lipstick. I'm digging that beauty. Let me tell you. That is for special occasions. That one's going right back in the box. That is not an everyday way to work lipstick. The next one I got was Viva Glam 6. I do wear this one to work occasionally. It's a more toned down lipstick. Um, if I can get it out of the box. It's a more like brown lipstick with a reddish 
side to it, I'd say hues. Is that what you guys call them? So this is Viva Glam 6. I will swatch it next to the red. And again, this to me is a more wearable color. I've worn this one to work. It's not quite nude, but yet not quite dark. And I'm digging that one, Viva Glam 6. Um, I drove out to the, you know how sometimes there's Mac inside of Macy's and sometimes there's legit Mac stores? I drove out 45 minutes for this color. This is Viva Glam Gaga, the first one. Just because Macy's didn't have it. <clears throat> so, again with the beautiful packaging, this time Lady Gaga's name is on it. And when you open her up, her name is on that too. This is a beautiful bubblegum pink color. This is not what I'm wearing on my lips. I'll swatch it for you. Gaga 1 is a beautiful bubblegum pink. I'm right there. I am digging this color. I mean, part of me, I don't even know why I didn't grab a backup. Because I'm going to be so sad when that's gone. And I also picked up Gaga 2. And this has to be one of the nudest lipsticks I've ever purchased. I really like it. My lips are already quite the pink lips, so it looks really good on me. In my opinion, sorry guys, I'm totally tooting my own over here. So there's her signature. There's Gaga too. Beautiful nude color. I'm putting it under what I call the wearable brown. So this is Gaga 2. This is Gaga 1. And again, that beautiful nude color. I'm really digging that. I've said that probably a gajillion times in this video. But if you're going to take the time to spend $14.50 a lipstick, you're going to swatch, you're going to fall in love, and you're really going to be digging it too. So, I got one for a friend and two for myself. This is the last part of my haul and the most exciting purchase of mine of MAC. And I got a couple of Leva Glam Nikki's. I'm so excited. When I found out I was going to end up with so many, I did give one away to my bestie. So, this is the color I'm wearing on my lips. I am totally digging Nicki Minaj's Viva Glam. So, her signature is on the packaging. Again, on the casing of the lipstick. And I have been wearing this bad boy, pow. <laughs> so, it's the vibrant Nicki Minaj Viva Glam Nicki. And I'm putting that right up to Gaga 1. Like, look at the... The baby pink color of Gaga and look at the kaplow hot pink of Nicki Minaj and I'm totally digging it I really really like how it looks on me I wear it a lot um I don't know I've heard Guru saying it has like a blue hue to it Joan will say so Viva Glam 1 6 Gaga 1 Gaga 2 Viva Glam Nicki and I have a backup of this because Oh, I wasn't letting that slip me by. <laughs> and to be honest, when this was coming out, I did a pre-sale over at Macy's. I thought it was Pink Friday. I'm so silly. I did not hear that until now that I've looked into it that it was a color that came out when she was releasing her album around Thanksgiving. So I'm on the hunt for that. And when I got some things at the cosmetics company, the girl was like, weren't you here last week? We had Pink Friday. And I was like, damn it. So I am dying to go back up to Maine and see if I catch that color. So that's why I ended up with so many. Because I thought I was pre-selling Pink Friday. Got an email like purchase Viva Glam Nikki and like a dummy purchase three. So I did give one away. I have my backup. I hope you like my MAC haul. I'm so in love with MAC. Um, that's it. I hope everyone has a great weekend and stay tuned because next I'm recording my vanity tour makeup collection. Positive vibes dolls.